Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Big John TV. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you taking the time to watch. What are we doing? So we're gonna test out some kitchen gadgets. We're experimenting with the new video series idea. So I always see these kind of tools pop up on either Facebook or I get emails or I see them in the store and I always mm -hmm. think, do those things actually work? Yep. Or you see the infomercials where the people do this stupid, I can't cut this <laughs> yeah. bread, but I'm gonna smush they, it and try. They take the tomato and stab it and smush yeah, it. It's like, totally ridiculous. Oh, I can't, I can't do this, so there's gotta be a better gadget. Yes, and so I wanna test those gadgets yep. for you. Yep, so we're not, like I said, this is a test run, this is a pilot episode. Um, not sure if we're gonna do this all the time, once a month. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how you guys enjoy it. So if you do enjoy it, make sure you smash that like button so that we know yes. that you're on board with these kinds of ideas. But this this could open up a whole new world exactly. of gadgets from all around the world. All the as seen on TV type things. Yep. The end of the check stand because I found a new one today. <laughs> yep. That's that. That's the thing. The things that jump out at you. It's like, do you think this is, uh, is does A, does it work? B, is it a, like, does it save you anything? Right. Is there a point to it? And then, yeah, I mean, it, it's all food related, so it's totally in our realm. It, it totally fits, and we love the idea. So, that being said, what if we got a, you see this, and you see that. Yes. So we tried the, can you peel a pineapple, and it was kind of a not very good. Yeah. They didn't there, have much success. There may have been some things we did or didn't do right or wrong. I, I don't know if it's, if it was just a complete made up story on Facebook. The right kind, of, the wrong kind of pineapple. Maybe it was the wrong ripeness. I don't know. Right. But anyway, the peeling it apart piece by piece for us was super messy. My hands were really sticky. Was pointless. Yeah. Ultimately. It was no cleaner than just slicing it. Right. But I've seen these forever, and I've had a few people tell me this is what they use. Yep. Can you see that? Can you so see that? So I want to try that? using this. It's supposed to peel and core the pineapple and make you like beautiful little pineapple rings mm -hmm. which if that actually works that's fantastic yep so and that's one and then you see the watermelon it's getting to be watermelon season summertime we eat a ton of watermelon throughout first, the summer first of all do you know how to pick a good watermelon let's talk about this real quick because we have recently learned and now it's like every time we know exactly what we're looking for and it mm -hmm. works fantastic so first of all, you see all these scarring on the top? Big giant, almost like gashes. Here's a, there's a perfect one right there. That, for starters, that's what you want for number one. That's a good thing. Now you see this discolorization here, and this one's not a perfect, perfect example. It's just the best was, uh, of what they had available. So you see this, this color here. The darker this color, the better. If it's white, you don't want that. You want it to be a dark, yellowy, orangish tone. That means it sat longer on the ground, meaning it's been it's more ripe. The sugar should be there, the flavor should be there, so that's what you want. So the major scarring. Yeah, the scarring was something about that's where the bees had pollinated the fruit, yep. left marks. And the discolorization here, you want it to be as dark as possible. That's a good thing. Okay. Now that being said, watermelon's tricky to cut. There's right. a lot to it. There's a, it's an odd shape. If you don't cut it right, sometimes they're hard to eat. If you're eating like a wedge, then you're like, right. you, you get, get the it, watermelon yeah, smile. Yeah, it touches you here and here. You need a big knife to do it. It's intimidating. It's, it's a pain, it's tricky. Um, so the way I cut watermelon is actually quite nice. Yeah. It's the newest way that I've learned. You slice it. Well, you cut the, the two ends off. Maybe we should show on one half. Show my version and then that version. We can. It's up to you. I guess we should have bought two watermelons, but that's a lot of... Well, we're only going to need one to do that, All one right. half. Well, then let's... Um... Let me grab another cutting board and I'll show you my way. Yep. I'm back. We've got a second knife, second cutting board. Ready to play. Yes. So if you cut off one end... How far up? Uh, just, just enough to get in to see the red. Boom. Rest it on the cut end. Boom. And slice it in half. Good. Sure. Make sure you keep your hands and fingers above the blade, pushing down. Ooh, this one smells good already. Yeah, it does. Yum. Okay, so you give me the smaller half. You take the bigger one with the tool. 
Well, that's, that's pretty darn even. 50 50 on that bad boy, so you can just take that one right there. All right. Space you. And so, this is the way I cut them now. You make slices, just like normal. And then we'll push this aside for now. I can demonstrate with just this. You cut off the outside edge. Watch that thumb. Watch that thumb now. Oh, that thumb. It's so far away, you really can't oh, tell. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't even see you cutting. You're behind the big I chunk. know, it's okay. So, so you, we end up with some, some loss here. Yeah. But what you end up with are these little sticks to bite. Super convenient for kids. Way easier to eat in sticks. Yep. But. But maybe this tool is going to make perfect little cubes. Is this tool going to help or hurt? This is called Amazing Melon Cutter. Your best solution for eating water, eating melons. Not even just watermelons, just mm. melons in general. This is a. This was straight from China, I, I believe. I was going to say straight from China. It's got Chinese characters on it. I, this one did come around Facebook recently. Mm-hmm. So it's a little, I know, it's a totally weird looking tool. It doesn't look like it's meant to cut watermelons. It looks like a water wheel or it something. It looks like some sort of bubble machine for kids. Right? It's very bizarre. So the idea is, as you push it into the watermelon, these little uh, spinny bits are going to cut the watermelon into cubes. Okay, so what I'm seeing is, if I sh if I push it in like that, yes, because yes. now you also see. Well, there's a little bit of instructions. All right, so you just you're supposed to just shove the watermelon in it. But mm -hmm. my problem is, is will that? I guess it will spin that mm -hmm. way. Out. Okay, all right, let's do it. So you're, I'm assuming you want to go no lower than that, right? Uh, maybe even a little bit higher. So like that yeah. right there. All right. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness. It's working. Now see that's as far as that, it go. Yeah, so that's as so far as you get to go out, on that one. But you could you could slice again and finish it off. But those are nice little pieces. <gasps> wow. What? We need this bowl here I was quick. not expecting that. I thought this was going to be a piece of junk. So you leave, you see the little drop that it's leaving. I wonder how far down I can go. Let's try to go all the way. Well, I can see You can see where it really wants to go. What? This is awesome. So now just dump it into the bowl from there. Boom. Oh. oh, oh. Yeah, okay, it gets a little stuck. That part. But see, the, the problem I have with this method is you're going to have a lot of loss around the edges. So you're going to have right. to just just take advantage of the center which you know realistically that's the best tasting bit and then up and dump and see that piece is stuck in there so it'll just get caught and you have to keep pushing it downwards otherwise the, the slices don't want to go super deep what? but it works I'm a little bit unhappy with how mushed up it gets coming through that thing mm. but ultimately it's a perfect bite-sized piece that would be perfect in a fruit salad. A little bit juicy on my hands, but this is fun. <laughs> it's like a toy, not a tool. And so I can see that we probably should have cut it maybe half this way. I could see that. But then you could also go at an angle like this here, right? Sure, why not? And see, this melon's really soft right there. So it it's is. It's very mushy. soft in the center. That that's amazing. So all right, guys, this one is not junk. This one works. This is a keeper. Again, this is the, see, I wish we were getting paid for these products. Right. Amazing melon gutter. Amazing melon gutter. <laughs> see it on Facebook. And I'll it, see if I can works. find it on Amazon also, and I'll link it in our Amazon store in case you want to get your own, because this was super interesting. This one, is, this melon is really soft for some reason. It is. So, all right, that's, that's the watermelon cutter. Um, fabulous kitchen tool. Yeah. All right, let's clean up a minute and then we'll try the pineapple. Yep. All right, so as you can see, I'm just about to the part where 
if this is the only tool you have and you're going to run into problems, um, we, we, I didn't want to just end it and be like, oh, it's perfect. Um, scooping around the edges, getting to that last little bit, you're going to need another a knife to make another cut, or you're going to have to have another tool to get in the, in the rest of the way. Yeah, like maybe a melon baller or something. Yeah, and like uh, when you get into the really deep center, then maybe this watermelon is not ideal for this tool right now. It's really, really mushy, and so it just wants to pulverize. But even still, you're getting decent, solid chunks out of there. So um, that would be the only negative is that you can't really complete the full length. Yeah, because of this is a straight line tool being used on a rounded object. Right, you're going to run There's into that. Some incompatibility there. Yeah. So, all right, uh, we'll finish these out. The pineapple time. All right, we're clean and ready to go. Pineapple now. Pineapples have got to be, if you know what you're doing, they're not horrible, but these are a real pain in the booty to, cook, to cut I up. agree. And I always hate having the little black bits left on the outside. Yeah. I feel like they kind of catch in your throat. Yep. But this is the pineapple. Okay, literally, it just calls it a pineapple. <laughs> Stainless steel pineapple core slicer. Effortlessly cores and slices. It says, are you ready for this? Yep. Cut off the top. Right now? Yep. Like as you're saying it, do it? Yep. Okay. How far to the top? Um, Doesn't matter. Just the leafy crown. Okay. Um, you know what? See how this has a weird indent? Go, a bit further. go below that. Okay. There it is, fully exposed. I was I was reading this one says dishwasher safe, so I was trying to decide if this one would be too, the watermelon one. Mm -hmm. Um it literally doesn't say anything mm -hmm. at all. So So I do have to do some assembly here. I've got to shove this part into the other part. Oh, this one's good. Alright, and then it says position this on the top so you can see the core there and then twist. Do you, do you have to stab it or just stab it and then twist. Ready? Yeah. Ooh, it's shooting. Oh. <laughs> it's going, it's going. Try and keep this part straight. Well, that's what I'm, I was seeing that the, it, it's, Or is that just the it, pineapple? It does what it wants to do, really. Once okay. you start digging, you can't. It's like foaming. That's yeah. so weird. Oh, that smells fantastic, though. So they show you being able to pull this out and then fill the inside with your food. Make little boats. Like how do I know I'm at the bottom? Just like it stops going? Probably. Because it'll probably crank all the way down through the bottom side. But I feel like that's it. Uh, I, I, yeah, I have no idea. All right. So then ready to, re ready to remove? Yeah, just pull it straight up. Okay, here we go. I said. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Maybe you need to turn it slightly. Because you're still, I still hear you. Were these buttons to release the handle? Yes. Okay. Ah. Oh, I think that's the bottom. Okay. <laughs> the anticipation. Oh. Oh my Atlanta. It's got some good suction there. What? There. <laughs> what the what? Okay, now hold on, because now this is what. Oh, look at that. That smells it, fantastic. Now this is the core. Yeah, and they say that. that yeah, you shot me. <laughs> that that um, if you like end up filling it with stuff, you can get that out. Okay. The core is no good but to eat. Here's anyways. what I'm really interested in is because there is. Do you want to pour it in here? You're dripping out the bottom. Oh, I'm going to drink it. It did say. All the juice is retained <clears throat> with minimal waste. Dang it. Hi. There's a lot of juice down there. Here, pour it in a bowl. I wanted to put my mouth on now. Wow, that did make a lot of juice. And half of it's on my shirt and face and board. Um, darn it, I didn't want to. Okay, that so much. now <laughs> here's the second cool part. So I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with this so far. Yep. You can pull the handle off, pinch the sides, and pull the handle off. Then you can slide this down over the top. <laughs> I feel so gross not covered in pineapple juice. And. Oh my goodness. It's just like out of a freaking can. Wow. How amazing is that? 
it's down in my beard. Oh, I'm gonna have okay. to shower again now. Okay, I'm gonna call this one a winner too. Look at that. These are nice little slices. Um, I don't know if it's much cleaner. I don't know where to put this. Here's what I want to test though. Here's what I want to see. I want to see how much meat is left. I don't know where to put any of this stuff. <laughs> um, down on the walls of the pineapple. Because if you're cutting it by hand, you're going to be able to get a lot closer. That is true. So I don't want there to be a whole bunch of waste. You see, it's an effective tool, but are you losing out on product? Now here's the core. And the core is yucky anyway, so I'm glad. You don't have to worry about that. And I'm biting these and I'm not getting that tough core in them. Let's see if this is all core though. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, that was a super sweet bite. This is a good pineapple. Mm. Okay, so that is 99% core. Fine with the loss on that, that's good. I feel like here's where we're gonna be a little bit disappointed. This feels a, a little bit thick, careful. You know, it. this is not the best of knife, knife no. for this job. Maybe just slice it again to show the wedge. A little bit of core on that piece. Now see, that's going to be, you know, with, with more practice on my part and our part, as far as centering it better and spinning it more straight right. up and down. Now here's my going to be my complaint. That's all good pineapple. There's a lot of meat left on that. These probably are two thirds of the amount of meat that you, you could have had in that slice. So then perhaps um, it's a matter of picking a pineapple that's more cylindrical, more, more tall and that skinny. Could be. Because it's only giving you this much of a cutting radius. Yeah. And our pineapple. So find a narrower one is what yeah. you're saying. So like that, that's as much as it could fit. All right. Well, I mean, as far as getting the meat out of the pineapple easily, this is fantastic. Right. Now, is it a full 100% quality job? There's a lot of meat left on them bones. Right. So, like, if you have somebody who's willing to, like, gnaw on it, it's fine. I'll do it. I like that it comes with this extra little slicer bit. Like, this is just, like, canned pineapple. I'm kind of amazed by that. It was super easy, super quick. Yeah, I, I'm not. A, I'm not totally upset that it's not 100. percent Right. It's close enough. This is a win. This is a good tool. I'm super excited that my first two buys were decent tools. Yep. Not gonna be pieces of crap that take up room in my <laughs> cabinet. We were trying to decide: do we call it keep it or or is it what was it? Keep Keeper it. or crapper? Is it <laughs> is it useful or is it garbage? Right. So um, we're all open to comments down below. Other kitchen ideas. Other ga kitchen gadget ideas. Yeah, let me know if you've seen anything interesting out. And then again, like I said, the thumbs up, thumbs down. Let us know whether you like this, the video idea in general. I'm going to sit here and keep eating watermelon because it's delicious. Yeah, and then i got to go take another shower. Mm -hmm. Get the watermelon out of my beard. Yeah, cutting fruit in general is always a messy process. Yes. I feel like this did minimize it a little bit because we're not having to manhandle the whole chunks and slice mm -hmm. them up. Yeah, that one of the ways they showed was putting the pineapple back in mm, there. I can see that. All right, guys. All right. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you did all the things. Yep. Like, subscribe, share. And let us know yep. how you like this. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Oh, oh look. It was fruit. Yeah, this was healthy. Healthy today. Healthy. Ah.